So we're going to be making some grilled corn um, on the stove. This is a low budget method. And so I have my corn boiling on the stove for just a couple minutes. It doesn't have to go a long time. Just You're just going to make sure that it changes the color from light to that deep golden. I prefer white corn, but I always get what's on sale and you know and this is pretty much what was left of it so hold on okay so the corn has been removed out of the pot and I want to show you how I prep this and um, what I use this is aluminum foil on the table I like to do it this way because it's easy you could do this or you can have a long pan I use extra virgin olive oil. I just love the taste of this and uh, we're again on a budget and remember the greener the olive oil the better. So this is called also pomace olive oil. So that's what I do use as the oil. And what I do is I pour a little bit uh, on the aluminum foil as you can see. And then for the corn when you shuck it, when you buy it on sale like a quarter each or five for a dollar is usually have it usually has the husk on it so in order to shuck it you shuck it but you always want to leave this on there I like this on because it's, it serves as a handle so that you can eat your corn so what I'm doing now is rolling the corn into the oil so this is how you want to do it you want to get that corn all nice and oiled up so that we can grill it and the olive oil. This is a really good, delicious, delicious recipe. So I'm just rolling it into the olive oil. And I did put some salt, some garlic salt on it. I really like garlic salt. But corn is almost like potatoes, you know, you, it, it likes salt. And um, salt is really tasty on the corn how you do it usually I would do this on the grill but again you know no grill and I like propane I did move from charcoal to propane I don't even like the taste of charcoal anymore and um, I won't even use it I prefer wood to propane as far as that goes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and do a little bit more salt on here the garlic salt and I do use this this is my favorite garlic salt in the whole world so make sure it's nice and oiled up really good and we're gonna leave this uh, here because that we're gonna come back to it after we grill it so let's show you how we do this on the stove so we take the corn Place it on the ire, the oiled corn on the ire. We're going to turn it on to about that much. And you're going to immediately hear like a popping. But if it does that, turn it down. Just turn it all the way down if it fires up because of the oil. But as you can see, it already gave it some crisp. <laughs> But that's what we want. We're looking for grilled corn. This is how we grill corn. I love grilled corn. I can eat grilled corn all day long. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm, we're just going to do this in real time as far as this corn goes. Just to show you how it goes. So... You just want to kind of keep moving it because you're not trying to pop corn, okay? Like popcorn, popcorn. No, we're just grilling the corn. We just want to get some of that action, some of that that roast action. We love the roast. Make sure we get the tip so you make sure my stove is quite small. And, you know, I'm in a, it's a low budget uh, <laughs> where I'm at. But you know what? I don't care. As long as it's clean. That's all I care about is cleanliness, really. So we got some of that grill action on the tip. I probably should have cut that tip off, but it's okay to serve. My husband will like it. He enjoys it. He's glad I'm cooking. Oh, let's step back. Yeah, you'll get a little bit of that from time to time. It's nothing to be afraid of or anything. Just, just continue to keep removing your corn. That's the best thing. 
So this is going to take about a couple of minutes. So we got a nice grill there. We want to move it towards the end to get the end grilled. And it's on low. I turn it on really, really low. So as you can see, as low as it can go. But it's on the fire. So this is what it does. In fact, I like this better than the grill because for some reason it's, it tasted better. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more just to show you how it, how it goes. Hey, playing my song, The Chronic. Let me show you who I am. It's me, Abina, about grilling the corn today. And after I'm done grilling the corn, I'm about to do my hair. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to wash it with a shampoo bar, which is a hard bar of uh, soap for your hair. And I'm going to detail the information on how that goes. So let's uh, continue on with the corn. All right. This is how you grill the corn on the stove, baby. What? And it's good, though. And it's good. What? About to turn that chronic up over there. Oh, it's hot. It is so hot in this kitchen, but it's hot outside. It's probably 100 degrees out here. I'm in Yuba City. Oh, that's a pop. Let's turn it around. We don't want too many pop pops now. It's a nice grill going on here. It's exactly what we're looking for. The grill of the corn. Yeah, this is good. Like that roast, so I'm gonna get this roast going right here. And see, we did cook it already for in the in the water. It doesn't take long. You just want to boil the corn kernel. You're not trying to make mush or cream corn. This is all we're doing. It's just getting some of that grill action going on. The brown kernels, which are the best in my opinion. So this did take about three minutes, going on about four minutes, just for this kernel. Or, or cob on the corn to do these kernels like this. It's my favorite. So I am turning it around to make sure it's getting the action that we want. Okay, I'm going to put pause and do the rest of them and I'll see you back. Let me know when you do it. Okay, so um, so um, we did roast the corn and I did discover something. Uh, when you turn the fire up, it does roast it a little bit faster. So look at the corn and see how it came out. How do you like this? So this is what I normally do. As I said, I roll it again after I get it off the stove. And to the olive oil, you can use butter. Me, I'm a health conscious person, so I really like olive oil. I also like to use paprika and chili pepper or this Mrs. Dash Fiesta lime. So I have some fresh lime that I did cut up. And what I like to do is squirt the lime on the corn. This is another healthy alternative. And I just love the taste of lime. And so this is going to give you a, a, a another taste besides just some buttered corn. It's going to have a lot of flavor. And then you can use a little bit of mayo, Miracle Whip mayo, whatever you like. And I like to go ahead and put that down, just spread it all around. <laughs> put it down and spread it around like that. Another one. Husband. And then if you like, you can even sprinkle some uh, Parmesan cheese. So this is paprika, like that on here, that is the business, and hot chili pepper. 
And I'm going to go ahead and taste this for you. And here is some Parmesan cheese. Just sprinkle a little bit on that. Some corn. And I'm going to go ahead and taste this for you and tell you how good it is. All right, here we go. Mmm, taste it. Mmm, yeah. That lime, it, it gives it a flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is really good. Now, I'm not going to eat the whole corn <laughs> in front of you, but I just wanted you to see how easy it is to roast corn on the stove. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.